first of all, I want to say forgive me for uh, forgive me for the delay, um, the delay on you know, just the delay. I want to say uh, I had to first of all I had to get strength, I had to get strength enough to do this without breaking. Um, I must say thank you. I must say thank you to every voice, every opinion, all the care, all the love, and the support out there. Is your your words turn into to arms and they held me up when when I try to fall back. Um, that hurt. Hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about. It hurt a whole lot. Um, I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown. And for just automatically mentally putting myself in that position like somebody told me that was my position. So I blame myself for that. But I thought that was nothing, you know, I thought that was nothing better than that, that, that spot and that stage and that platform in my city. And um, so it hurt, it hurt a whole lot. Um, but y'all, y'all are fucking amazing. It made me feel like shit not getting this, this opportunity. And when I felt like shit, you guys reminded me that I ain't shit without y'all. That's an amazing reality. So, like I said, it broke me. And I'm just trying to put me back together. But my God, have you all helped me. Thanks to all my peers, my friends, my family, my homies on sports television, everybody repping me. I really appreciate that. I really do. I feel like I let all of y'all down by not getting that opportunity. But I'm working on me. And I'm working. So, thank you. That is Lil Wayne giving his first public reaction to not being named Super Bowl halftime performer in 2025 in his hometown of New Orleans, Louisiana. Jay-Z and Rock Nation made the announcement that Kendrick Lamar will be headlining the upcoming Super Bowl festivity. The biggest spot in our country, the biggest event in our country is going to see Kendrick Lamar instead of Lil Wayne perform at halftime. And that is Wayne giving his honest and candid reaction on camera. Something we don't see a lot uh, of from Lil Wayne, him being on camera like that in, in that moment, vulnerable, right? Like, I think that's so dope. Let me be one of the first people to say, I love every bit of what Wayne did. I didn't like when his manager came out and made a statement, but I love Lil Wayne going on camera raw, unfiltered, and just letting y'all know how he feels, right? You want to know what's so interesting about it? That wasn't Lil Wayne on his high horse. That was a humble guy that said, yo, bro, I didn't get the job done. I really wanted to be here for y'all. And I didn't get it done, y'all. My bad. I'm hurt. I'm sorry. You want to know what music is missing today? I don't want to get preachy, but the reality is we don't have storylines to follow. Have you have you walked outside lately? I tell these same stories on camera, but they are what my reality and they are what work to people, right? It's bad outside right now. People are living paycheck to paycheck. A lot of more people paycheck to every other paycheck if they're blessed. And a lot of people just online capping for social media. People cannot relate to rappers that talk about their millions upon millions of dollars. What a person, the common person, can relate to is feeling like you're the top candidate for a job or feeling like you're the best person for a relationship or a chick or a guy that you want really bad or whatever the advancement may be in your career, your life, feeling like that spot is yours and then not receiving that opportunity. That is a simple life storyline that all of us go through. 
and it's easy to follow. We don't really get those storylines in rap anymore. We got to follow our favorite artists on social media. And all we really, really see is the ups. That's all we really see is just, it's lit. New Bugatti, new Cybertruck, new seven car garage. All we see is the wins. Lil Wayne just publicly showed us a loss. And that's just how life is sometimes. It does not appear that Lil Wayne is going to get his dream. The sad thing about all of this is not only did Jay-Z and Rock Nation select, not select Lil Wayne, they went and selected Kendrick Lamar for Louisiana. And because of Kendrick's very public feud with Drake in 2024, Drake, an artist that was signed by Lil Wayne out the gate that gave him the first real cosign of his career. There's probably no opportunity for Kendrick to be the guy to at least bring Wayne out in February Super Bowl. I don't think that would be the case because of the scenario that's been painted. Some would argue, but the fact that Kendrick's performing is because of his feud with Drake. So I don't think this can be rectified quickly. And my, my other point that I made earlier was I mean, the next two Super Bowls are in California, San Francisco and Inglewood. I still feel like Jay and Rock Nation could have gave Kendrick Lamar that spot. I'm not saying y'all had to pick Wayne. I thought it would have been great theater, a great story to follow. I threw Taylor Swift out as a great option. Taylor Swift could have even brought out Lil Wayne. I don't think because of what has taken place in the culture this year, Kendrick would be the guy to bring out Wayne. I, I'm not 100% sure. We've seen crazier things, but that would be, be pretty high on the list of crazy. I don't think we're going to see that. It would be nice to give Wayne a, a minute or two, but, you, you know, it's a Super Bowl. It's the biggest spot in most artists' career, and they only get, like, 13 minutes. I don't think we're going to see Wayne on Kendrick's set. And, unfortunately, Wayne should, Kendrick shouldn't have to feel like he should share his, his set. Jay-Z and Rock Nation shouldn't have put Wayne in a position like this. That man came out and made a video. We never see Wayne that 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 sober, right? We'll never see that Wayne. That was a humble, sober Wayne saying, dang, bro, I let y'all down. Now it feels like I'm following a story. Now I want to see Wayne get the next Super Bowl. The only problem is it ain't in New Orleans, right? It ain't going to be the same. Now I feel like I'm watching a story. Now I feel like my favorite player, my favorite team, just lost a championship at the buzzer. All my Memphis folks out there, I feel like 08, Derrick Rose almost took down Mario Chalmers in Kansas. That's what I feel right now. And unfortunately, because the next year's Super Bowl in 26 is in Cali and not Louisiana again, I don't know if there's a way to rectify this one. And I don't think Kendrick Lamar, being the boogeyman that he is, I don't think he would step away and give Wayne this moment. But I would admit he probably would think about it for maybe like half a second because of that video that Wayne posted. That was a humble dude that thought he was the best guy to put on for his city. And he was not given that opportunity. Hey, business is business, y'all. Sometimes life ain't fair. If you love flexing your sports knowledge, you should head over to the best place to play fantasy sports and win some money while you're at it. That's underdog. For me, I love the pick em game. It's super simple to play too. All you got to do is go to the Underdog website or app. You got to pick whether a player will have a higher or lower stat line for that specific game. You get your picks right, and you can win up to 1,000 times your money. And when you sign up, if you use your boy's promo code, which is Ferro, your deposit will get matched up to $1,000. It's available to you in bonus cash. You can't beat that. Tap in with Underdog. My promo code is Ferro.